Hi and welcome back to our channel. My name is Martha from Cooking the World and I am food guide in Frankfurt. In this video I will be showing you three different gym potato dumplings variations. The first one that I will be making uh, will be made from uh, cooked potatoes and the other two are made from the mixture of raw and cooked potatoes. One with and one without egg. If you like any of those, I will put the German and the English names of the dishes that I cook in the description box down below so you can search for the recipes on the internet. In Germany, you've got plenty of different variations of potato dumplings. In the German supermarkets, very popular are the Klöße Thüringe Art, which are potato dumplings made from raw and cooked potatoes. Klöße Halb und Halb, and those are also a mixture of raw and cooked potatoes. And also potato dumplings made of cooked potatoes only. As far as I know, in some regions in Germany, they also do potato dumplings from uh, raw potatoes, but I wasn't convinced to try them. To cook all those potato dumplings, I actually needed uh, five kilo of potatoes. I bought the Melik Kochen, which translates to starchy potatoes, so a sort of potatoes that's got a lot of starch. And those are the potatoes you want to buy when making the potato dumplings. So first I'm going to show you how to make the potato dumplings that I make at home and those are made from cooked potatoes. So to make those you need to peel all the potatoes. You're also going to need an egg yolk and not only one for this amount that I was making. I used a uh, three as far as I remember. After cooking the potatoes, it is very important to let the steam go out. Uh, you don't want as much water in those. And as you can see, there is still some water to evaporate. They are not that hot. Uh, you can put them uh, through the potato ricer. Thanks to potato ricer, they are mashed very evenly and properly. If you've got more power in your hands than me, you can mush three or four potatoes at once. As soon as all the potatoes are mushed, uh, you're gonna use a bit of uh, butter. I think that the potato dumplings with butter uh, taste much better. Potato starch, egg yolks. And then if your potatoes weren't salty enough, you can add some salt, pepper and also a nutmeg. The next step would be to mix all those ingredients together. And the good thing about this mixture or a dough is that you can actually leave it in the fridge overnight and then make the dumplings whenever you are ready. So I actually left it overnight and on the next day I formed the dumplings. You want to make sure that they are not too big and even so they cooked evenly. I actually tend to do a huge potato dumplings. Oh well, at least I don't have to roll as many. Then I take a large pot, fill it with water and salt. Then I bring the water to boil. And then I just put the dumplings very carefully and I wait until the water boils. As soon as the water starts boiling, you need to turn uh, the heat to very low and you let the dumplings simmer for around 20 minutes. Also, what is very important, you need to simmer them without the lid. And at this point, uh, your dumplings are ready. I really love making those because for me, those are the easiest ones to make. They've got a perfect consistency and lovely color. And of course, go with all German saucy dishes. I seriously love them. So glad I've got 30 of those in my freezer. So the next variation that I'm going to show you are the Klöße Thüringe Art. To make those, we also are going to use raw potatoes. I am actually showing you Thüringe style and not the original one because, to be honest, I never made those and I just don't want to upset anyone by making a mistake in this recipe. So traditionally, Thüringe Klöße are made of two thirds of raw potatoes and one third of the cooked potatoes. After grating, you want to make sure that you remove um, all the um, excess liquid. I am actually using sieve for that. 
And then I am taking uh, the uh, mashed cooked potatoes, adding uh, the raw potatoes, some salt, a bit of starch, and in this recipe, we actually not gonna use any egg. So as far as I see, those uh, can actually be even vegan. But please correct me if I'm wrong. Thuringia Klöse, I always filled uh, with some uh, bread. Uh, there for this, I'm gonna toast the white bread until nice and crispy. Apparently those protect the potato dumplings from uh, dissolving when being cooked because the heat of the water doesn't go that quickly into the potato dumpling. For my potato dumplings, I'm gonna use only one cube of bread because those turned huge, but traditionally they are more smaller ones. You can see those potato dumplings are a bit uh, darker. This is because I used the raw potatoes and I let them stay for a few minutes and they turned already kind of green. If you want a nicer color, you really need to do them very quickly. But don't worry if that happens, it doesn't change the taste. Thuringia Klöse are served with all lovely and saucy dishes. Because of the high amount of starch, they are kind of uh, sticky but still very fluffy. Those are traditionally served with a goulash or a beef roll as well as red cabbage. And the last variation of the potato dumplings that I'm going to show you are the potato dumplings half and half, so made uh, partly from the raw potatoes and um, cooked mashed potatoes. Those are also made with starch and egg. Then uh, the whole thing is also mixed together. And I can see already that it does have a perfect consistency because those are very sticky. Here we are using raw potatoes and um, therefore uh, we want to really make sure that we form the dumplings and cook them uh, very quickly. By the way, for those we're going to also use toasted bread. Potato dumplings from raw and cooked potatoes are also simmered in the hot water. They can be served um, as they are, but for example in Dresden or in south of uh, Bavaria we have eaten them uh, with the breadcrumbs and something else by the way on the top. To make the breadcrumbs is actually very easy, you just need a bit of butter, some breadcrumbs and you need to toast them until golden brown and then serve them on the top of the dumpling. You can see that the potato dumplings that are made from raw and cooked potatoes uh, have definitely a different consistency. They are not as homogeneous as uh, the other ones and uh, you can see that. They are also extremely delicious. If you have some uh, leftover potato dumplings, you can fry them on butter in the pan. I think this is my favorite way of eating potato dumplings. In Thuringia, we have also eaten those cut it into stripes and I had the feeling that they were also breaded. Uh, what a treat! Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you did like it. Thank you very much also to Larry and other ones for giving me this idea to make this video. Please let me know in the description box down below how you are making your potato dumplings. Two years ago, I also filmed a video about uh, different variations of the German uh, dumplings, not only potato, but also bread and other types. So if you are interested, I'm going to put the link to this video in the description box down below and in the top right corner. I am really sorry for not posting a video last week, but that was really too much for me. Um, for the moment, uh, we've got actually a lot of things um, going on. Max is going through the growth spurt. This has been already a fourth week, so I really hope that this time will be over soon. He's got a lot of uh, difficulties to uh, fall asleep and also staying asleep. So he's awake at night several times, which is a pain, obviously, <laughs> if you have to work the next day. It is also very hot here in Germany for the moment. Uh, we've got in our bedrooms like 30 um, degrees Celsius, which is extremely hot. And there's no other way, you know, to change the situation. So that's actually pretty hard and difficult for the moment. 
On the top of that, Max is actually teething and uh, we started um, an adjustment process to a daycare. So this week we've been going there every day for at least uh, one hour, one hour and a half uh, during the playtime so he can uh, play with all the uh, children and get used to them. Actually this process has been a bit up and down but I am pretty sure that he's gonna manage it. Next week we are going for two weeks um, on holiday so I won't be posting any videos and responding to any comments. I really need this time to recover um, from all this what was going on right now and then I will be back with a fresh content for you. So anyway that was the update. Thank you very much for watching, have a lovely week, stay safe and healthy and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!